Okay, welcome back. So it looks like the key to increasing capacity um, cheaply, so not building, you know, not refurbishing the, the hospital to add on an entire new fifth floor because that would be very expensive. The fastest way to get some capacity is to decrease the number of patient um, uh, nights right? So how long the average patient stays, and then asking our surgeons to conduct surgeries on Saturdays. Now, inside the case, remember, we might have an employee management system problem, right? Because a lot of the old school doctors don't really want to work on, on Saturdays. They're not, they're not used to it, right? Some of the younger ones are, are willing to, but the older ones really aren't, aren't willing to. So it looks like the best growth path is to, you know, Make it so that our patients stay closer to the three-day mark and not closer to the four-day mark. So uh, get that average length of stay uh, in bed nights down closer to three than um, than to um, than to the side of four, um, and then it's worthwhile for us to ask our surgeons to work on Saturdays. Now. Uh, this may take a little bit of motivation, right? And so motivation wise, we might think of this in terms of, well, maybe we can pay the younger doctors a, a larger bonus or kind of incentivize them with money. So how can we motivate our surgeons to want to conduct those surgeries um, on Saturday? And that's what we're gonna be looking at now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna select everything, control C to copy, so let me see if I can get this going. Uh, control C to copy. And I'm going to go to my EMS motivation tab and control V to paste. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and double click uh, to make the cells show everything. And for these divide symbols, I'm going to narrow those. And just because it's driving me crazy, I'm going to get rid of those grid lines. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So now what we've went ahead and done is we kind of have a, a duplicate of what we just created. Okay. And now we want to find out how much bonus incentive we can give to the doctors to want to conduct surgeries on Saturdays, okay? So let's think of it this way. Uh, we wanna calculate the difference in their bonuses. Uh, so uh, let's construct a model to figure out how much their bonus is right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna change these titles, say now, and then um, I'm gonna say new, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste and paste, okay? So now and new. So now they have uh, four hours worth of surgeries, number of doctors, nine, uh, number of surgeries per week, they have five. I'm proposing that they move to six. Okay, uh, operating rooms, we're not really changing anything. Uh, this will still be six. Okay, actually, I'm going to make that equal to that. Okay, and make that red. Okay, we're, we're talking about six surgeries, uh, surgery six days a week. Oops, oops, that should be that. Okay, uh, now it's five days a week. We're proposing six days a week. Okay, and number of beds, I'm not proposing that we build a fifth wing, a uh, fifth floor. So we're going to keep the number of beds at 89. The average length of patient stay is 3.5. And I'm proposing that we kind of decrease that towards the three side. The average length of stay is three nights. Okay. So we used to have a throughput. We used to have a throughput of this. Okay. And now we have a throughput of this. Okay. So, um, I'm going to say difference in patient count, okay, equals that minus that, okay? So you can see the formula again, right? So the difference between the new and the old. 
So on average, we should be able to, and notice that this is actually a fraction of a number, right? Because these are fractions of a number. But again, these are like on average, right? So the difference in patient count, I'm gonna go ahead and yellow that, and I'm gonna get rid of the yellow on the formatting here, okay? The difference in patient count means if we implement these changes, right? So we speed people out of the hospital. Um, on average, their stay will be three nights instead of three and a half nights. And we ask our doctors to pick up the slack, right? And conduct surgeries on Saturday. On average, we will be able to service about 30 more patients in any given week. So difference in patient count um, per week, okay? So on any given week, we can service 30 more patients. Now, how does this translate into money, right? So number of weeks in a year, so weeks per year, I'm just gonna put in 52 for now, equals that times that, okay? Times equals more patients uh, per year, okay? And I'm gonna format that, okay? Uh, average revenue per patient. And if you remember from the case, right, the average revenue per patient is 1029. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, uh, dollar amounts times that, that times that, okay? So just from the increased number of patients that we're gonna be able to service, um, Shuldice will be able to collect $1.5 million more in revenue. So uh, incremental revenue with growth plan. And remember, our, our growth plan is, right, decrease the length of stay and then have our doctors um, work on, on Saturdays as well. Okay. Um, and now, uh, remember that our doctors, doctors, uh, bonus pool as percent of revenue, right, was 7.1%. And if this is how much additional bonus goes into the pool, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to now use Format Painter, see if that line also paint, nope, the line doesn't go. Okay, incremental um, amount to doctor bonus pool, right? This is how much more uh, the doctors as a whole can go ahead and um, and earn. Now we have nine surgeons, right? And so if this is gonna be the increment from conducting Saturday surgeries, right? And let's say half of those doctors are the new doctors. So um, divided by the Saturday working doctors, okay? And let's say, half of those doctors are, were, are willing to work on Saturdays. And that's a divide symbol, put divide, divide symbol, okay, equals divided by that. Each one of those doctors would make an additional $25,000 a year, right? Just, just from, you know, that, that bonus pool. And just for comparison, right? So increase in bonus. Now, 
old salary, their old salary, the pay was about $50,000. Right, the old bonus was about forty one six six uh, seven. Right, um, oops, was plus that it was five hundred thousand dollars divided by twelve was about that was their bonus. Okay, so their old take home. Their old take home was this old take home, right? If I add in that extra $25,000, that $25,000, oops, that $25,000 represents a 27% increase in the amount of take home pay, right? percent that new bonus is of their existing take home pay. So that's how you should argue to, you know, the the new doctors or to try to convince doctors to take on that Saturday surgery is to say hey, you would essentially be getting 27% more in take-home pay if you do Saturday surgery, right? So that's like a 25% a, a increase in your paycheck just for working one more day, right, out of the week. So um, if you want to watch your kids grow up, right, and you're in Canada, so you want to watch your kids' hockey games, right? How about you want your kids to go to college, um, you can watch every other one of their hockey games and also pay for their college by working that Saturday shift. So this is how you should argue the motivational piece um, in order to get the policy through. So this is how you would start forming. Um, this is how you would start forming policy uh, and crafting how you would get a growth initiative implemented um, inside an organization.